things are heating up on the global stage. Turkey, a key player that bridges Europe and Asia, is making big moves that have both NATO and the EU on edge. For years, Turkey has been closely linked to Europe and NATO, but now it's looking to strengthen ties with BRICS, a powerful group of emerging economies, including Russia, China, and India. This shift could impact everything from trade to global power dynamics in ways we haven't seen before. Why is this such a big deal? Turkey's journey to join the EU has been long and frustrating, with endless negotiations and slow progress. Now, with Turkey feeling sidelined by the West, it's seeking new partnerships and exploring fresh opportunities with fast-growing economies in the BRICS bloc. Imagine the influence Turkey could gain more trade options, new investments, and a chance to diversify its alliances beyond Europe and the US. In today's video, we'll dig into why Turkey's pivot to BRICS is a game changer. We'll explore what this means for NATO, why EU leaders are getting anxious, and how this could shift the balance of power worldwide. So stick around to see how one country's strategic shift could have ripple effects across Europe, Asia, and beyond, shaping the future of global alliances and diplomacy. But before we dive in, take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. We keep you up to date with the latest in global economic trends, and there's so much more ahead that you won't want to miss. 2024, the European Union, EU, is stepping up efforts to rebuild and deepen its relationship with Turkey, a country that has long aspired to join the EU, but has recently become increasingly skeptical of this possibility. Frustrated by a prolonged accession process with no end in sight, Turkey is beginning to look at other alliances, such as the BRICS bloc, for economic and political cooperation. The EU's renewed approach includes a comprehensive three-step strategy aimed at re-engaging Turkey on multiple fronts. First, the EU plans to re-establish high-level diplomatic engagement, aiming to create trust and open new dialogues with Turkey. Second, the EU intends to resume European investment bank operations within Turkey, which could bolster economic relations and encourage Turkish businesses to pursue investments aligned with European standards. Lastly, the EU seeks to modernize the existing customs union, which currently allows goods to flow freely between Turkey and EU countries. Together, these measures reflect the EU's broader goal of keeping Turkey within its sphere of influence, especially in light of pressing global issues like Russia's war in Ukraine. Turkey's strategic position on the world map gives it considerable leverage, as it is critical to the EU's efforts in migration control and NATO's defense framework. In recent months, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan met with Russian President Vladimir Putin in a high-profile meeting that underscored Turkey's growing interest in deepening ties with the BRICS alliance. Formed by Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa as a counterbalance to Western economic powers, BRICS has recently expanded to include other influential countries such as Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia and the United Arab Emirates (UAE). These new additions make BRICS even more appealing to Turkey, which has felt sidelined in its EU membership bid. Putin's support for Turkey's interest in engaging more closely with BRICS indicates that there is genuine openness within the bloc for Turkey to join, should it choose to apply formally. So why is Turkey so interested in BRICS? Turkey's motivations are multifaceted, with both economic and geopolitical aspirations at play. First, Turkey wants to diversify its international alliances and reduce its reliance on Western institutions like NATO and the EU, which have not always addressed Turkey's security concerns. Turkey's stalled EU accession process has only added to its sense of disillusionment, leading it to explore alternative platforms. For Turkey, BRICS represents a chance to engage with large emerging economies that operate outside of the traditional Western sphere. Already, Turkey has substantial trade relationships with China, one of BRICS's key members, 
and joining BRICS could open up new opportunities with other major markets like Russia, India, and Brazil. Through these partnerships, Turkey hopes to attract investment, broaden its trade relationships, and access alternative financial systems. This potential diversification could help Turkey reduce its reliance on the US dollar, which has been a major focus of some BRICS members as they seek greater financial autonomy from Western economies. BRICS's recent expansion, which included the addition of influential regional players like Iran, Egypt, and the UAE, has further caught Turkey's attention. These countries have historical and cultural ties with Turkey, and their involvement in BRICS signals that the bloc is no longer just a loose association of emerging markets. Instead, BRICS is becoming a real platform for countries from the global south to collaborate on issues ranging from trade and investment to political cooperation. For Turkey, membership in BRICS could provide a much-needed alternative to the EUA grouping that would allow it to maintain some independence from Western economic structures while benefiting from regional partnerships. Yet, Turkish officials have been clear that their interest in BRICS does not indicate a desire to break away from NATO. Instead, Turkey views BRICS as a complementary strategy that enhances its options on the world stage. President Erdogan and other Turkish leaders have consistently articulated a vision of balance, where Turkey would engage with both Eastern and Western blocs, leveraging its unique geopolitical position to maximize its economic and political clout. Turkey's relationship with the EU has been a long and, at times, frustrating journey. Turkey first applied for membership in the European Economic Community, EEC, the EU's predecessor, in 1987. By 1999, Turkey was formally recognized as a candidate country, a milestone that suggested it was finally on track to join the EU. In 2005, Turkey began official accession negotiations covering 35 policy areas or chapters that it needed to align with EU standards. However, the process has been slow, complicated, and often frustrating for Turkey. As of 2024, Turkey has only managed to open 16 of the 35 chapters, and only one chapter has been provisionally closed. Since 2019, the accession process has effectively stalled due to a range of issues, including concerns over Turkey's democratic standards, unresolved disputes surrounding Cyprus, and strained EU-Turkey relations, particularly after Turkey's 2016 coup attempt and the subsequent government crackdown on political opposition and civil society. Comparing Turkey's experience with that of other EU applicants highlights just how complex its case has been. For example, Austria, Finland and Sweden joined the EU in 1995 after only two years of negotiations. Their rapid accession was largely due to their economies and governance systems already aligning closely with EU standards. Malta and Cyprus took longer, about 14 years, due to unique geopolitical and internal challenges. North Macedonia, which applied in 2004, only began negotiations in 2020 after addressing long-standing disputes with Greece and Bulgaria. The average time for a country to join the EU is about nine years, yet Turkey's nearly four-decade journey reflects unique political and regional complexities that have made it one of the slowest and most difficult accession cases in EU history. Given the obstacles it faces in its EU membership journey, Turkey has been seeking alternative alliances. One major area of focus is the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO, which is an economic, political, and security alliance led by China and Russia and includes several Central Asian countries. The SCO offers Turkey an opportunity to strengthen its geopolitical influence in Asia, providing a potential counterbalance to its traditional Western alliances. At the same time, Turkey has been building stronger ties with Middle Eastern and Gulf countries, with a particular emphasis on defense and military cooperation. Turkey's alliance with Qatar 
is especially strong, illustrated through various agreements and joint military initiatives. Turkey has also been working to normalize its relations with Saudi Arabia and the UAE, extending their cooperation to areas like defense and military production. This multi-pronged approach shows Turkey's broader strategy of reducing its dependence on any single geopolitical bloc and diversifying its alliances to enhance regional security and economic cooperation. Turkey's engagement in Africa is another key example of its efforts to expand its international partnerships. Since 2003, trade between Turkey and African nations has grown substantially, increasing from $5.4 billion to an impressive $34.5 billion by 2021. This trade expansion is part of Turkey's strategy to reduce its reliance on Western markets by building new relationships in emerging markets. Additionally, Turkey is pursuing local currency trade agreements to reduce its exposure to the US dollar. Through these initiatives, Turkey aims to establish financial sovereignty by developing central bank mechanisms to support these transactions. Despite Turkey's active efforts to strengthen ties with other regions, its path to EU membership continues to face opposition from several EU countries. France, for example, has been vocal in its concerns about Turkey's human rights record, especially regarding press freedom and the treatment of political opponents. In addition to these human rights concerns, French public opinion reflects cultural reservations related to Turkey's predominantly Muslim population and the potential implications for the EU's secular identity. Germany has expressed similar concerns about Turkey's political developments, particularly following Turkey's 2017 referendum, which expanded presidential powers. Germany and other EU members worry that these changes reflect an erosion of democratic principles in Turkey, adding to the challenges it faces in gaining EU support for its membership bid. Austria, one of Turkey's most outspoken critics, has frequently called for suspending Turkey's EU negotiations altogether, citing concerns about Turkey's democratic backsliding and human rights abuses. This ongoing opposition from key EU countries has created significant obstacles for Turkey, preventing it from making progress on its EU accession journey. While these diplomatic challenges persist, Turkey has continued to assert itself as a powerful, independent player on the world stage. In an increasingly polarized global landscape, Turkey's decision to balance relationships between the EU, BRICS, and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization speaks to its ambition to be an influential, multifaceted actor. This balancing act requires strategic agility as Turkey aims to navigate both its Western and Eastern relationships in a way that maximizes its economic opportunities, strengthens its security, and enhances its role in global politics. For Turkey, the goal is not to replace one alliance with another, but to position itself in a way that allows it to benefit from multiple partnerships, drawing on both Eastern and Western connections to create a robust, resilient network of alliances. The potential membership in BRICS, alongside ongoing partnerships within NATO and interest in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, illustrates Turkey's unique approach. With its strategic geographical location, Turkey sits at the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, making it a natural bridge between different regions and ideologies. This location has always given Turkey a unique advantage, but it also presents challenges as Turkey must carefully balance the often competing demands of these regions. By engaging with both the EU and BRICS, Turkey seeks to leverage its geopolitical position to strengthen its economy, enhance its security, and secure a prominent role on the global stage. Turkey's expanding network of alliances is reflective of a broader shift in global power dynamics. As countries like Turkey pursue more independent foreign policies, traditional alliances like the EU and NATO are being re-evaluated. This trend suggests that more countries might follow Turkey's lead in seeking to diversify their partnerships, 
working with both Eastern and Western blocs to gain greater autonomy and flexibility in their foreign policies. In this context, Turkey's experiences with the EU, NATO and BRICS provide valuable insights into how countries can navigate complex, multi-layered relationships in an increasingly interconnected world. For the EU, Turkey's growing interest in BRICS and other non-Western alliances presents both a challenge and an opportunity. On one hand, the EU risks losing Turkey as a strategic partner if it cannot find ways to make EU membership more attainable and appealing for Turkey. On the other hand, Turkey's role within alliances like BRICS could offer the EU a new channel for engaging with emerging markets and strengthening its economic ties outside of Europe. Ultimately, the success of the EU's three-part strategy to re-engage Turkey through renewed diplomatic efforts, European investment bank involvement and customs union modernization will likely depend on the EU's ability to address Turkey's concerns and demonstrate a genuine commitment to strengthening the partnership. Turkey's pivot towards BRICS and its effort to diversify global alliances isn't just about a single country shifting course, it reflects a larger transformation in today's geopolitics. For years, Turkey has been a committed partner to the EU and NATO, aligning with Western priorities. However, its frustration with the EU's slow accession process and a desire for more autonomy has pushed it to explore options beyond the traditional Western bloc. This move isn't an abandonment of its long-standing ties, but rather an expansion of its strategic toolkit, allowing Turkey to balance its relationships between East and West and engage with emerging powers in a meaningful way. By aligning itself more closely with BRICS, Turkey taps into the economic and political potential of fast-growing markets like China, India and Russia, creating a broader field for trade and investment. This is especially critical for Turkey as it seeks to strengthen its economy and build resilience against currency dependencies like the US dollar that sometimes limit its options. BRICS, which has been expanding to include countries with historical ties to Turkey, offers Turkey not only economic benefits, but also a platform for regional cooperation that resonates with its own cultural and strategic interests. Meanwhile, the EU and NATO are now faced with the task of re-evaluating their relationship with Turkey. The EU's new three-part strategy, renewed diplomacy, increased investment and modernization of the customs union shows a clear attempt to keep Turkey engaged and prevent it from drifting too far from Europe. But whether this will be enough depends largely on the EU's ability to address Turkey's concerns and demonstrate a genuine commitment to improving the partnership. Turkey's Strategic Balancing Act remaining in NATO, engaging with the EU and exploring ties with BRICS and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization highlights a broader trend of countries seeking flexible alliances that serve their national interests. This trend suggests that as global power dynamics shift, other nations might follow Turkey's lead in diversifying alliances and pursuing more independent foreign policies. Ultimately, Turkey's choices are a testament to its ambitions on the world stage, to be an influential, versatile player that can navigate the complexities of both regional and global politics. As the EU works to strengthen its connection with Turkey and BRICS explores expansion, Turkey's approach could very well become a model for countries seeking to balance regional and global alliances in a way that maximizes economic growth, security, and influence. In a world where traditional alliances are being redefined, Turkey's journey underscores the importance of adaptability and the power of a diversified, multipolar approach to diplomacy. This new phase of Turkish foreign policy is not only a strategic move for Turkey, but a sign of the changing landscape in global alliances, one that will undoubtedly impact diplomacy for years to come. What are your thoughts on Turkey's shift towards BRICS? Do you think this could bring a new balance to global power, offering Turkey more opportunities and influence? 
or might it pose significant risks for the country? We'd love to hear your perspective, so please share your comments down below. If you made it to the end of the video and enjoyed this deep dive into Turkey's strategic moves and their potential impact on the global stage, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Dropping a like on the video really helps us reach more viewers interested in world events and economic shifts. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. See you in the next video.